So here's my implementation of uh, the Boyd's flocking simulation, which a uh, million people have done over the years. Um, so there's one Boyd, and it's sort of moving randomly, and it's avoiding some obstacles. But what gets really interesting is when we put a lot together, they behave like a flock of birds or fish or whatever you want. Um, and they do this with a couple of different rules uh, that when combined together in a group, you get this really interesting sort of emergent behavior. If I can use a buzzword. You'll see they, they break up and reform and do all these interesting things just based on those rules. So the first rule here is uh, alignment. And um, you know, I'll just put a bunch of guys out here for fun. So what each boy does is it looks to its neighbors, its friends, in kind of a small radius, um, maybe about two or three body lengths, as long as they are now. And it averages the position of all of its friends' headings, right, the direction that they're facing. And it moves a little bit towards that direction. So if all of its friends are looking to the left, it turns a little bit towards the left. Um, and every boy does that for every other boy that's in that little radius of its, its friends group. Um, so if I turn that off, you'll see they just kind of go everywhere. They don't really have a reason to go in any one direction or another. Now there's some other rules. Obviously you can see they like to be near each other. And um, that's the second rule. There's a cohesion rule. They take that same um, grouping, that same uh, radius around themselves of friends and average their positions. They say, okay, for all the, the voids around me, roughly where's the center of all of them? And then they seek towards that a little bit. So. There's also a balancing force against that. If they get too close to all the other boys that are near them, they they back away, they avoid crowding. So you can see these look pretty realistic to maybe little fish swimming around. They like to be near each other, but not so near. But because they don't care about what direction they're facing right now, since I've, I've turned off alignment, they just kind of flit around. And as soon as I turn that back on, suddenly it looks like they have a purpose. They're swimming fast, you know. You can even see that group just reformed with another group. So those are the three rules, and um, I can turn these these things off at will here. If we uh, turn off crowding rule, they'll get really, really close together. They want to be near each other, and they want to copy each other's heading. So they formed into just a line. If I turn that back on, they'll, they'll puff back out. Um, and there's some other stuff going on here. They have, um, you know, they have some noise. If I turn off the noise, they're pretty smooth. And if I turn it back on, you can see them kind of jiggle. Um, so if I turn off all of the rules here, now they're fully random and they don't care about each other at all. If I turn off the noise, they just kind of drift. Um, they still care about getting away from the, the barriers here on the edge. And in fact, I can come in here and turn these rules back on and lay down a bunch of um, barriers for them to avoid and lay down a bunch more voids. And you'll see lots of interesting stuff happen. They avoid areas, stick back together, do all sorts of stuff. So if you want to uh, download and play with this, uh, it's on my GitHub linked here or in the description.